Aries, welcome to Tyron Hill. Welcome to the place where we Tyron Hill our way to self-love and unity consciousness. Welcome to your December reading. Let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, and accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Aries, I was supposed to say Leo, mm. what does the Aries collective need to know? Oh for the first half of December. What y'all talking about over here? What y'all talking about? Reflect on your truth and correct your mistakes. Course correction. Oh baby, I fucked up. I want you back. <laughs> Alright, that's the energy of that. This could be romance, obviously. It could be careers or whatever the case is. It's a need to course correct whatever you're doing right now. Mm -hmm. Somebody's having a funny feeling like, I mm, think I made the wrong judgment call on that situation. So, um, we have trust of the niggle. It's like, what is your gut instinct telling you? Okay. So this could be you or it could be someone that you're connected to. They might, um, someone might be feeling out in the cold, right? And now they're realizing like, oh shit, ain't no sunshine when she ain't gone. You know, so. All right. a lot strength card okay the strength card coming out twice i feel like somebody's building up their strength here because before it might have been some level of codependency or something some insecurities codependencies but i feel like <clears throat> as someone is gaining their strength building up let's say confidence now they're realizing how they might have a uh, sabotage because of their insecurities or uh, lack of confidence, all right? So someone's feeling stronger. Like, I did you wrong, baby, but I ain't know no better. Cap <laughs> Capricorn had that type of energy where it's like, <clears throat> not apologetic about it, but it's more so like just being young and dumb and realizing what your young and dumb self was doing. <laughs> <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles coming out in reverse. I don't want to be alone, baby girl. All right. Every card is coming with a a little scene, apparently. The fuck? Y'all dating an actor? What's going on here? They're standing out in the rain. At the door, just like, baby, just please let me in, please. High Priest is coming out. Two of Wands. <clears throat> Two of Swords. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I can't breathe without you, baby. <laughs> Why is this coming with... You know what? Like I just don't. I don't I don't get the nature of tarot reading. Just I just don't. Like sometimes it wanna come with music, sometimes it wanna it wanna come with a whole scene. So here we are, okay? Yeah. Death card at the bottom of the deck. It's like yo, I wanna put an end to this fight. I don't wanna fight anymore. I just want you back. That's what I'm feeling here, alright? They might have got they definitely got an intuitive hit. Somebody did. Someone got an intuitive hit, okay? That gut instinct or that little birdie in their ear telling them the truth. And the truth was, yeah, you fucked up. Um, all right, let's see. Why is this high priestess here? Come on now. Come on now. 
Oh, I was wondering if that King of Pentacles is going to come out. Interesting. All right. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. They don't want to feel that regret of being left out in the cold. They don't want to feel left out in the cold. They don't want to feel what it feels like to have their back turned towards, having your back turned towards them. Okay. Being on the other side. Oh, it's like being, not being in the, first of all, you guys are a match with the King and Queen of Pentacles. They're realizing that. They probably didn't have a full, um, <sighs> I don't know why I want to stretch right now. I'm just saying. I'm sure that probably plays a role in this reading. Um, needing space. Somebody probably wanted space or something weird. I don't know. But it is a match here. Someone is realizing that now. All right. Um, they realize that they stopped the flow. They're seeing things from a different perspective um, because they have a better sense of self. Because they have a better sense of self, now they're seeing themselves as a match to this person. Um, someone's feeling how it feels to be on the other side, to not be in the warmth of someone's love. Okay? This is this is so... <laughs> this is kind of poetic and it's romantic. It has a very... It has, a, it has an R&B vibe, like... <laughs> yeah. All right. Like boys to men type of shit. <sighs> For some reason, I just have this urge to like stretch right now. Right now, I'm just stretching my legs. This is so weird. <clears throat> like I just sat down. All right. Um, mm. They probably feel that you're revving up. They feel you revving up to actually pull your energy back, okay? It's like, if you guys separated, um, there was probably a moment, um, like that interim period where you have to deal with the, the pain of the loss or whatever the case is. They feel that the tides are changing now and now you're no longer like dealing with the pain of the loss because now you're like over them. Now, because in that in that in-between phase where you're dealing with the pain of the loss, your energy is still kind of pouring out to them. And they could probably feel that on some type of level. But once you, you get over it, your energy is no longer pouring out to them. They're like, wait, hold up. Hmm, something's different. Where's Aries? Or, you know, if this is you doing this to someone, getting over someone, or someone's doing getting over you, um, you figure out where you are in the storyline, all right? But someone's feeling how it is to not feel your love. Um, them realizing, oh, all that warmth that I was feeling, that was coming from you. Now that you're pulling away, everything feels cold and dark now, you know? So someone's recognizing what your love, the, the, the presence that you, that they bring, um, the presence that you bring into their life or vice versa. Pretty much taking the love for granted. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this is so dramatic. <laughs> it's so like rom com -y how it's coming through. It's like Cause now I'm just I don't wanna get I'm not in a sappy mood right now and this is about to make me sappy. Like I can't <laughs> What just came to mind was like it feels like a um like chicken soup chicken soup for the soul all this cheesy shit. Somebody feels like somebody's love feels like chicken soup for the soul. It's nourishing for their soul. All right, it's warm. It's like coming in after a a, a super rainy day and coming inside, you know, into a warm bed or with hot cocoa. This is how someone feels about someone's love. This is so cheesy. Like, 
so someone um see i just felt the need to like back up right and start stretching i feel like someone felt like they needed space someone probably felt this love and it felt smothering okay they probably took it for um <clears throat> Somebody might have taken it for being like smothered. Like, oh, get off of me. Why are you? Mm. And um, instead of, and now it's just like, oh, because, you know, here's the thing. Here's what people don't realize. I, I noticed this. It's very funny. Um, oof. It's something where, see, I'm just stretching all over the goddamn place. Mm. It's a difference between like when someone, when you know someone's choosing to love you as opposed to someone who's just like head over heels and it's just like, oh, why do you love me like that? Like you just love everybody, don't you? Or, oh, I really put it on you or something, you know, and you don't respect the love that they're giving you. And then once someone separates themselves from the situation, then you can realize like, oh, they were choosing to do that. It's not like they're in a spell and they have to love me, you know, somebody else had this energy. Um, where they had to humble themselves. I don't know. I think it was Aquarius or something like that. It was something with, it, yeah, it was some type of energy where they have to learn how to um, tap into the vulnerability. Like, they might have been looking at it like, I need space, you're doing too much. When really what was happening, and they were projecting it, like they were, that person was a problem, not realizing that, the problem was they weren't able to accept the love. You know, the vulnerability made them feel uncomfortable. Or whatever the case, the love made them feel uncomfortable. But instead of realizing that, they just looked at it like, oh, no, you you love too much. You're weird, you know? So, like that. It's like, um, let's say, um, when I just watched a show, Married at First Sight, right? Where um, the character, one of the... What's the, what's the girl name? I don't know what the girl name is. Whatever. Um, Karen, maybe? Anyway, she she had a freaking teddy bear. This teddy bear of a guy who was just doting on her. And he she, she could not accept it. She was just like, okay, like, you're not being manly, though. And it was like, she couldn't accept the love. It looked weird to her. His example of love was so weird to her, okay? Because she she was used to whatever she was used to okay um so a, a man watching seeing a man be vulnerable towards her was just like oh you know it just wasn't that style of love she was used to it wasn't ultimately she gave in she liked it you know but she just realized it was triggering her fears because she didn't um she had to deal with her own issues so that's what's happening here anyway so we do have the lover's card coming out um, we do have the Wheel of Fortune coming out in reverse, though. That upgrade. So, I don't know why it's coming out in reverse. All right. First of all, let's look at the Two of Swords here. I think this is more of a recognition rather than, like, a confession. This might be somebody's inner, inner journey where they're just realizing what's happening. Okay. Mm. All right, so the Two of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. is something about, like, the security. Something about um, security and not being true or something like that, you know. Um, it's like one of those truths that you hold on to, like, money is everything, you know, and then you realize, like, oh... No, I have to change my relationship with money. It's not everything. It's something about the stability, how they look at stability. It needs to be changed. It wasn't true. Okay. And that was the lens that they viewed this person in. All right. And that's why this person, um, that's why they kind of pushed it away. All right. Let's see why the lover's card is here. Mm, that's beautiful. We do have the double card coming out in reverse, along with the hermit card, okay, in reverse. This is a major, they're realizing some things. Whoever's doing this, if, if this is you, whoever this person is, is realizing, like, how toxic, 
they had a toxic mentality when it came to love, for example, um, of what a solid partnership or relationship should be. All right, so now it's being adjusted. Mm. Oh. oh, okay. Why is the, uh, the will fortune here? Somebody else had this too. Oh my gosh. Like, um, oh no, I think I was saying it in uh, the, um, the full moon in Gemini reading. Where, you know, some people have like a different idea of like, oh, somebody loves me. For example, if somebody loves me, they'll be super jealous all the time. That's how I know they love me. And it's like, okay, but that, that belief system is going to attract some weird shit. If you keep believing that, you're going to attract the same types of people and the same types of weird kind of situations. Why don't you change your belief system? Change your story a little bit. You know, so it's some type of story. Not, that's not the story here, okay? Or it could be. It could be. Um, it's just some type of story that wasn't true, okay? And someone needs to adjust it because it, it created, you know, it just, it, it, it stopped them from experiencing the truth. True things. So they're realizing the error in their ways. Like, okay, that was a that was a way of thinking that was kind of flawed, and led me into some bullshit. Okay, or it led me to act in a in a crazy way. Um, all right, but whatever. Now they're called Thomas, emotional, standing there looking out their window while the. the Rain is coming down the window pane, I guess. All right. <laughs> blockage. What is a blockage here? I'm emotional. What's a blockage? I'm feeling all the romance vibes. <laughs> like this person wants to do all the things that they've seen in all the romantic movies. The chocolates, the roses, the whole shebang, the whole, all the cliches. <laughs> all right. What's the blockage? Oh, what was that? Knight of Cups. Mm. They coming with that cup, man. They coming with that love. Ooh, they coming quick. Hey. They coming quick. They're not coming quick. I'm not saying that. Come on. Get your head out the gutter. I'm saying they're coming through quick with their emotions, okay? With the Knight of Cups coming out with the Knight of Swords. This is fast. They're coming through pretty fast, it seems, okay? Um... Uh. Oh, they're planning to do so. All right, their plan of action. Their plan of action is going to be swift, it seems. This is coming out as a blockage. Like, they're... Because earlier I said, I don't see action. I see more of an internal thing. Are they being pushed to move like this? Because this is some action energy, man. Hmm. Hold on. What's happening here? Oh, they might feel like, um, you know what? For some of you guys, because you turned away from this person, you turned your back on this person... Um, there might be a new person coming into your energy. Because now I'm very aware, very conscious of these two characters coming at each other. <laughs> one with the sword, one with the cup, but whatever. Interesting. This can't be for everyone. I don't know. I mean, this really brought me in. It's two different types of people, though. Two different styles. Okay, let's just get into it. This is fun. All right, some of you guys.
some of you guys are going to have two people. One of them, one of them is someone who lets you go, okay? And it's, one of them is in your energy right now. Like a new person came in your energy. I feel like this is a newer person, this sword's energy. I feel like this Knight of Cups, this person, this person, hmm. This had, I don't, oh, I'm getting a whole down low. Hold on. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's see. This ain't going to be for everybody, but let's enjoy this soap opera that's coming through here. Because clearly, this reading is given all the drama, okay? From the cards given like a whole scene to now this whole battle, battle of the exes, possibly. Um, now, with the sword energy, this person has way, see, I'm feeling like one is younger, much younger than the other, something like that. Or they just have more energy for the situation. They might be younger to the situation. While this person, they, one person has more history. And then there's someone who's just like, this one is more, they have more excitement because it's new. They have more passion for the situation. But I don't know if it's more passion because they're... It just seems like they're... It seems like because it's new. They don't have the history of hurt, being hurt, you know, and all that. Like, they're still trying to get it. Like, they're still pursuing while this person's trying to win somebody's heart back. That's what's happening there. Hmm. See, someone turned their head um, and a new person, a new a challenger walked in. <laughs> so that's what's, and, and I feel like the other person's feeling that energetically, like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're moving on for real, for real, you know? And that's what's um, alerting this person, like, oh man, I think I fucked up, hold on. Making them think a little bit. Making them reflect on what they're missing, what they're about to miss or what they are missing. Somebody probably, see, it does seem like planning. This is coming out as a blockage because some, <laughs> this is going. I don't want to go this deep into a fucking love reading. <laughs> somebody, see, somebody's trying to come back, but somebody's protecting, somebody's in your energy. That's what it is. <laughs> this person is like fiercely protecting your energy. Like, nope. Claim this territory. Find another one, player. I feel like this person is being an energetic block to the ex or whatever, to the past one. This is really interesting. Even look at the body language of their animals. This one is like, this is an ex who's like, kind of, I don't know, I want to say the word morose. You know, just kind of looking kind of sad there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at the patch. Is it, are those patches? Yeah. All right. Well, it's like a, a fresh new one coming in with all the fire. Ready to fight. Ready to fight for the heart. This is crazy. I don't know. That was just too much time spent on these two characters. I don't even know. Like, that's crazy. All right. Wow. Oh. This is so wild. Oh, tarot. This? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um, See, the, the thing with this situation is, see, somebody might be entertaining a new one, but the new one doesn't have the history of the old one, right? Um, It feels like the old one is going to defeat the newer one. 
and the new one's gonna take an L. That's what it's looking like. This is crazy. That this is even a part of this reading. What is going on here? This is a whole a whole battle coming out right now. You know what? See, you know what it looks like? So the old one is, is probably going to come back. Um, and it's up to you. You know, you don't have to take them back or whatever. But it does seem like the old one is going to have the victory in this battle. Okay. Um, forcing a new one back. In, in Meaning, if you're talking to two people, one is a, an, an, old, an old person. Not an old person. Like an old, an ex. And then you have a new one that you're entertaining. This old one might come back and you might drop the new one. Um, and now that's creating a story with that person now. Because that old one was once in that new person's position at one point, right? So now, you know, now the circle of life continues where now this new one will probably be go back, lick their wounds and come back or, or not, whatever. But it does seem like they take a loss here. This is crazy that I'm downloading the message between the two people. They are connecting energetically. This is some wizard shit right here, okay? These things, I'm sorry. <laughs> They're probably battling in an astral plane. This is so crazy. I just can't, like, what, what is this world? What is life? This spiritual world is something else, man. What do, what else? Do I need to know anything about this battle? Mm. Wow. Ace of Wands in reverse coming out. Yeah, it came out twice on, on the side of the new, the new guy. Oh, wow. And seven, yep, the Seven of Pentacles. It's going to put them... It's going to put the new one in their place, okay? The new one, it seems like the new one, they, they need to be put in their place a little bit, okay? They need to be knocked down a peg, it seems, a little bit, all right? Um, and this is going to do that. It's going to humble them a little bit because if you let go of the new one, go back to the old, then it's just like, oh, I thought I had it like that, you know? Um, I'm a newer, fresher model, you know, whatever the case is. But it's like the old one knows how to speak to your heart while the other one is using logic and using intellect. This might be a, you might, it might be an air sign or something like that. This is, this is wild. All right. Um, why is this Ace of Wands here? It's a freaking saga here. They are two different styles. I'm just, and I'm feeling it. It, it feels like it, the spirits are younger. Like they're either it's a major age difference between the two. Like not major, but it, it's somebody who's clearly younger, um, or just one because one is just way more calm than the other, um, and way more wise, or they just probably just have more of an understanding of who you are while this person is coming in and don't really, they don't get it yet. Like this person does. This person had to make the mistakes and correct it. So now they know how to come back. Okay. They already did their homework. This person is still new, so they can fuck up pretty easily. Okay. This old one probably came through as this person before. That's what I'm saying. It, it's it's crazy. This looks like a. This is wild. <laughs> okay. Um. Ultimately, I don't know if anybody's gonna get the get the cake. <laughs> to be honest. With the Ace of Wands coming out with the Nine of Wands here, and the Hangman, it might be oh uh, some. So the, the old one is going to come back and do something. They're going to cause some damage, okay? Um, they're going to make their point felt because they're coming from a cups, from water, energy. They're coming from a very heartfelt place, so they know how to speak to your heart, okay? Or say the words that get to your heart. Um, while this, this 
other person's probably just doing all the right things, but I, I feel like it's going to leave it in a limbo situation. With the Nine of Wands and the Hangman, I don't think anyone's going to get the love. Wow. It seems like both doors are going to be closed. At least temporarily. All right, what what is this? The fuck? What do I even ask? What do I ask? Um, the person, the person in the middle. What are they failing to see? The hangman again. They're not seeing the regret. They're not seeing the growth. Okay. Um, so the person that's coming back. Damn, it's a few people that have exes coming back. Pisces do too. Um, for the person who's coming back here. The person in the middle of these two people, they don't see the, the, the level of regret that this per that the old that the ex has. And the level of growth that came out of being this elder card. See, the elder, this is an older one. This is an older, more mature one, or at least emotionally more mature. If it's not an age difference, then this person is the emotionally more uh, mature one. They probably wasn't always that. And you're probably not seeing that, the level of emotional maturity that they stepped into after learning this lesson from dealing with you. Okay, after they corrected their mistakes, they became the elder in the situation compared to this new person who's like the new kid on the block. You're not seeing how much growth they had by way of going within hermit mode um, and how much regret they, they have from like just kind of taking it, taking the emotions, the love for granted. With the Ten of Swords, however they were being before, they're no longer that. Okay, um, like I said, you probably known them to be like the, the younger one, the young buck, new kid on a block being all ridiculous, right? You're not seeing that they're what whatever it is that they're growing into. Um, and that is not going to bring this level of whatever the source of the pain was. Okay, they're not going to bring that anymore. Um I would say the advice is to take your time with it because we do have the hangman coming out twice. Oh, keep an open mind, okay? If this person, I know nobody want to really hear about exes. Some do. But with this person, whoever this person is, keep an open mind because if they come back, they're probably going to come back different, okay? Um, they definitely have a change of perspective and you're not seeing that yet, all right? So you're probably just going to be like, uh, what do they want? Probably ignore. But um, keep this in mind. Like, actually just keep an open mind here. All right. Here, at least hear them out and see if it, if it does feel like there's a difference there or not. Tell me more about the hangman. Hmm. The world card coming out in the verse. Hmm. This energy is so masculine, all of this. It just feels like two masculine energies coming for coming for feminine. That it does feel like that. Alright, also with this um this ex coming back, they um they have made the changes, but you probably just won't see the physical um the physical manifestation of it as of yet because they haven't made the complete upgrade but in, internally they're doing a lot of work internally they've done a lot okay right now it's just an internal process internal journey and i don't see them taking action like actually letting you know but energetically, they might be bumping into whoever's energetically in your space. There might be some weird energetic exchange on some wizard or witch shit, but whatever. Um, that's crazy. So all this is happening unbeknownst, unbeknownst to, is it note what? 
God, like, there I go trying to say words to the person in the middle. Being nosed. Whatever. Um, yeah. All right. This is a weird, this is a weird reading, man. It just feels so action-packed. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Because I don't, it's all this action. But no, like, I don't see them or one of, I don't see the ex coming through. Actually coming to the person. Coming to the person and saying, hey, I love you, I want you. But it's so much action here between the two masculines. Competition. Mm. All right, what's the advice? Let's do, all right, here's what I'm about to do. Queen of Wands. <laughs> Look at the Queen of Wands. <laughs> I know that's right. Oh my gosh. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. It's like the Queen of Wands is like, all right, I'll just sit here and watch you guys fight. Fight it out. <laughs> Who wins? The Queen of Wands is a very, um, it's energy of someone who's very... This is very attractive energy. Okay. Oh, shoot. Yo. All right. There's a lot of glitching happening in this reading. All right. Um, The Queen of Wands. Attractive energy. Okay. Kind of a witchy energy. So, yeah. I just feel like this is a, the freaking witch. And these are the two wizards who are fighting. That's what I feel is happening here. And it's weird, okay? It's weird that it's coming through like this. But you know what? It's 2020. Anything is possible. Um, but yeah, you know, astral energy is all is, is so real. So your advice is to, is to keep sitting pretty and doing whatever you're doing. All right? Be observant of people's words. Be observant of their actions. It's not saying like, oh, yeah, you guys fight over me. I'm not saying that because I don't feel like I, that's not happening in the physical realm. Um, you just keep doing you. This is pretty much just saying keep doing you. Okay. Uh, you do have a lot of, you have people competing. Um, yeah, so. <sighs> this could just be people like fighting for your attention, you know, things like that. But. So it's three people in this situation. I kind of want to get advice for everybody. Because I don't know who's watching. Um, fuck it, why not? This feels like a video game. It feels like... It just feels... It just feels so... Freaking weird. Okay. Let's get the advice for the ex coming back. Okay, that came out. Mm, there's a three of wands coming out. What's the advice for the ex? Okay. Double card in reverse. Um, that person needs to, um, yeah, correct their mistakes. That's what I feel like they need to correct their mistakes, okay? Correct the errors of their ways, uh, the, the toxic way of thinking that had them moving in the world and um, showing up in, in love in a very shitty way. I'm sorry, in a, but that's how it's coming up, okay? In a toxic way. They got to correct that. All right, what's the advice for the new kid on the block? Mm. We have a siren coming out. Um, I don't think it's their time yet. <laughs> I don't think it's their time yet. They got more work to do. See, it's like, it, it's kind of hard for them to compete with history, okay? They, they still have more work to do. They're so fiery, though. They have to know how to step to a queen of wands. These are two knights. They're not even kings yet. That's the thing, too. That's why I feel like the queen is like... I mean, I mean this is cool and all, but y'all are... Who's stepping up as a king? Oh, my God. I kind of want to give this reading a part, too. And go more in depth. I feel like the majority of this was the freaking battle between the two people. All right, what's the advice for the Queen of Wands? The thing is, this knight, um, the ex, 
I feel like this person is cloaking their kingness, right? They they haven't shown <clears throat> that they're a king yet. They're still hiding it. That's what you're not seeing, okay? It's like the queen is sitting here. This is a crazy download. Whatever. If this is for you, then cool. The queen is sitting here watching these two guys have a pissing contest and not impressed. One probably thinks, like, this is what I need to do to get her heart. Um, and this person is just down. The young one is down for the pissing contest. Like, this is what I got to do, beating on their chest and all that. <clears throat> but I feel like the ex is really this person, this sage, wise person, okay? Um... But they're not showing that part yet. They don't know how to show up in love in that in a wise way as of yet. They just know how to show up in this in this young buck way. Okay. All right. There might be a lot of masculines watching and y'all got to watch this. I guess. I don't know because this is crazy. <clears throat> yeah. See, it's, it's not until... The Two of Pentacles coming out with the the Knight of Cups here in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse. I don't feel like the Queen of Wands is going to take either until someone shows up like a king. Like the pissing contest and, you know, doing the push-ups in front of... I can do this many push-ups. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, that's stupid. That's not king shit. You're acting like a little kid. Um, that's what I feel like is happening here. So it's just like them, it's like this, this, and it, that's why I feel so masculine. It feels dumb. Yeah, it feels dumb because this woman is sitting here like, what are y'all doing? Like, y'all are putting more attention into each other than y'all are on me. Like, put all that energy into how you can get to know this, right? Instead of trying to figure out how to battle it out with each other. You're worrying about what your competition's doing and you ain't even asking me how my day's going. Like, your priorities are messed up. All right, listen. This was a very different reading, I must say. This gave me a headache. This is a, this is a funny reading. All right, cool. Um... Oh, power animal. Pretty much an ex wants to come back. They they realize the error of their ways. They want to come back, but they don't want to... Um, they just feel like they, they have to fight off competition. Um, and there is there is someone else in the background, too. Like, all this is happening in the background. There's another person in the background, a new kid on the block who's, like... Probably just peeping the scene, peeping your energy or whatever. Or you might actually be talking to them, whatever the case is, okay? Um, whether this other person knows it or not, knows that this person is there, they can sense that you, you're you entertaining another, another suitor. What's the advice for the ex? This is advice for everybody, including myself. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? Because this reading was funny as shit. And I just, I'm just like, it's very funny that it came through this way, but I don't think this is funny at all. Okay? Like, this is stupid. Um, but yeah, it does, uh, it, uh, whatever. What's the advice for the new kid on the block? Make better choices. If you're pissed where you are, then stop taking yourself there. This person, the, the new kid on the block, is gonna they're going to make some errors, okay? They're going to make some errors in judgment, and then they're going to be the person to have to correct their mistakes, okay? That's all that's happening. What's the advice for the Queen of Wands? <laughs> Can't make this shit up. Can't make this shit up. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Keep sitting... Look, Queen of Wands, keep sitting pretty. Keep doing what you're doing, okay? Until the king or the empress steps up, okay? Don't be fucking around with these knights, all right? That is crazy how that came out. Come on now. All right, come through, spirit. This is crazy. I mean, I'm going to give the Queen of Wands a power animal. No, I'm going to give them all a power animal. Okay. Um, The X. What is the X? Power animal for the X. 
Oh, see, spirit got your back. See, this person did some spiritual work. They did some emotional work. They did a lot in hermit mode, okay? So that's why I feel like they, look at that, lay a solid foundation. They know how to build a foundation with you better than the other person does because the other person is still too new. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I hope I didn't. Because this reading was too good. I'm not going to delete it because a little slip. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, um... <laughs> Godly, this is awful. All right, um, but yeah, they they can't build a um, they know how to build a a, a better foundation with you than the other person does. Also, they might be getting intuitive guidance. All right, all right. Let's see what does the, the um the new kid on the block. <clears throat> What's the advice for the new kid on the block? All right. This person has air energy. They definitely have air energy. Um, chameleon spirit act as if. Okay. Giraffe spirit see the big picture. Lizard spirit dream the world into being. They just feel like it's a fresh new beginning for them. They just have the energy of a fresh new beginning. All right. They just need to learn the ropes of how to, how to step to a queen. That's it. Okay, they just need to learn that. Um, they're going to lose a the battle. They might not lose the war. Okay, you just got to go back, look your wounds, figure out what you did wrong. Um, and that's it. And the advice for the Queen of Wands. This reading was a lot of energy. Okay. I'm sitting here, nip slipping. We're doing a, this freaking battle of the exes. I don't know how to say the word unbeknownst. Here we are. Ah, I said it. Yay. Oh, God. I redeemed myself. Okay. Um, rhino spirit. <laughs> Overcome any obstacle. <laughs> All right. Bad spirit. Be fearless and bold. Yeah, just do you. Queen of Wands, just do you. All right, that's the energy there. This reading was crazy. I'm out. I'm done. Peace. Oh, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> Feel free to watch, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG. It's Tyrone Hill. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. I do those. If you want to be a patron, check out the Patreon link below, okay? Thank you so much. Until we meet again, peace.